Gotta keep him up. Good, there you go. There's always another level! Come on, Chad! Stick it! Stick it! Push! Come on, big dog. Come on. Use your legs. I gave myself permission to not put limits on myself. I gave myself permission to be all that God has called me to be. I got my man, Mike Chandler, in the house. Hey, special treat today. We talk about the champion's mentality. I got my man, Mike Chandler, in the house. He's an MMA fighter. You gotta watch this guy. The training man, this guy, he's a special man. The way he trains, you talk about the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. This one is gonna be special. Buckle up, you might wanna get the hoodie on for this one. This is gonna be out of control. It looks like I gotta get some shorter shorts. Yeah, I mean, in real. this workout, like, what the heck? I mean, you know, I'm all, I'm all geared up. You gotta get your mind right. I need some shorter shorts. What the heck's going on around here? We're just done with the warm up, guys. Keep coming. And relax. Feels one at a time. It's a long flight. Shoulder. Down. Good. It's nice and smooth. The breath's relaxed now. You warmed up the inside. You're flowing. Can't work. Keep them up. Good. There you go. Another level. There's always another level. Come on, champ. Stick it. Stick it. Huh? Yes. Boom. Time. We, when you think about the mindset of a champion, what does it take to be a champ? Man, there's so much. I think the older I've gotten, I realize there's so much that goes into being a champion. Yeah. But then it's also very simple when it go when it comes to there's so many things that we can do, so many things that we can focus on. And it sounds so complicated, but at the, but at the end of the day, for me it's it's always been working extremely hard, believing in yourself, staying true to yourself, and surrounding yourself with the best people possible. Yep. yep. You know, and, and and also being able to come back from losses, come back from bad workouts, bad days. I mean, it's, it's very easy for one bad workout to plant a negative seed in your mind and then continue to go in a downward, downward spiral and that bad day turn into a bad week. And the more you can focus on bouncing back from bad days and bouncing back from losses, which I've had numerous in my career, it was easy. It was easy to stay positive when I was 12 and 0 and undefeated and finishing everybody in the first round and I had some losses and it really helped my perspective shift. Yup, yup, good punch. Chop! Keep chopping, baby. Keep chopping. Oh, yeah. Turn it. Turn the wheel. Whatever you got, don't save it. Right there. Just hold. Enjoy. Good. There you go, Mike. Good. Yup. Uh. Good. Awesome. You got your belt on? Good. Sweet. Come on. Change, baby. Remove the chains that bind you. There it is. Red zone. Hey, TD10, you're getting after it today. <laughs> who, is, who is that? Who is that? He's working. He's working. <laughs> Come on, all four hips. Ain't no easy days. Ha! Ah! Oh, I like that intensity. I like that intensity. Uh -huh. Come on, champ. Boom. Whoa, every rep counts. Every rep. It's obvious you're a champion and you get that mentality and it takes work you got to work on that all the time if you weren't in the fight game and you were in business or out in life do you think the same mentality you bring to the cage would transfer over into another aspect of life or because you're a fighter that's who you are no absolutely i mean i think every i think i think we're human beings from from our head to our toe and we, and we were designed a certain way what we were designed for accomplishment whether it is in athletics, whether it's in business, whether it's in whatever avenue um, you decide, whatever vocation you decide, and these these tricks and these these mind hacks and these visualizations and these things that we're talking about don't just apply to athletics because I'm an athlete. I'm also an entrepreneur. I just opened up a gym in Nashville called Training Camp, trying to trying to make a Fitness Quest 10 esque gym yeah, out there, you know. Yeah. Um, and and. You know, I think it's it's one of those things where, like I said, whether it's for me, it's it's having a bad practice or losing a fight, but it could be a, a bad business presentation that you completely bombed on, and because you didn't visualize, or you did it, you you had a phenomenal um, business pitch because you did visualize before and you prepared before and you 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 did everything right. You know, I think I think any of these kind of tactics that we talk about are just literal life hacks for human beings mm -hmm. not just athletes not just entrepreneurs any anything anybody it, it doesn't 
the the coolest thing about life and, and the way that the brain works and confidence and self-image is when you talk about visualization visualization it doesn't have to be these huge right. events either you can visualize writing an email to the to the next person at right. noon tomorrow whatever it's but being self-aware enough and and being cognizant enough and 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 present enough to realize that we're not just we're not just a species walking around this earth we were designed for accomplishment and you you are in charge of your self image and you are in charge of your confidence and and the way that you see yourself none of us and i think for the longest time <clears throat> i just thought if i work hard right. i'll do all right but then i started to realize as I, as i matured i was in charge of what went into my brain you know, garbage in, garbage out. If you're listening to, hearing, and thinking garbage, you're going to portray that out into the world, you know? And motivation is like showering, you know, it wears off. You know, that's why it's recommended daily. So we have to we have to continue to be built up, continue to, to seek out these kinds of um, these kinds of platforms and, and the, those certain people that, that motivate you, that make you tick. And and sometimes you have no idea who it might be or when it might be or where it might strike you. But constantly realizing that when when your head comes off the pillow in that that morning, you you are in charge of how that day is going to go, and you are in charge of of whether it's going to be a great day or not a great day. Push! Come on, big dog. Come on. Use your leg. So there you go. That's fine. Right there. Boom. Woo! The champ is here. Let's go. He worked it. Hey, the kids are coming. Let's go. Hey, the champ is here. You got no Iron Mike? See him on TV fighting. Okay, only fight in the octagon. Don't, don't, don't fight in school, though. Oh, come on, go get some. Come on, eat. Come on, baby. Come on, champ. All day, every day. Yes, flow with it. The dream, remember the dream. Woo, yes. Ah. Go, come on, back and forth. Good, catch, push, catch, push. Good, hands wide open. Good, Put. absorb it, explode it, explode it. Switch legs. Good, good. Come on, punch, fellas. Punch, fellas. I love this guy. I love him. This guy, man, epitomizes a champion. He epitomizes what it takes to be the best every single day, man. Has he been knocked, knocked down, knocked out? Uh, a couple times. But he works every single time he's in here to get better. He has fun, he's working, he's challenging himself. That's what it takes. That's what a mind right maniac does. That's what a champion does. And that's who that is. Mike Chandler, remember it. It's so great to have this guy out here at Fitness Quest 10. Visit his gym over in Nashville. Uh, watch for him. Not only what he's doing in the, in the octagon when he's fighting, but around life, on all social media, all his talks that he's doing. An incredible man, and uh, what a blessing to have him out here at Fitness Quest 10 once again. I love you, you, champ. Love you, thank you guys. That's what it's all about. Get your mind right. Any other mindset hacks that you use in or out of the cage to help you get your mind right? Um, I think I think going back to really focusing on when you do have a bad day, you do have a bad practice, you do have a bad performance, acknowledge it, but then completely forget about it. You know, and this and cer certain people disagree, might disagree on that, and they might want to say, okay, well, let's mull it over for X amount of time, like you said, pity party for X amount of time. I think I think spend a few seconds acknowledging it and then moving past it. And, and the second one was, was something I've been doing for, for years is make a mental highlight reel. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, you know, aside from that visualization, the, the visualization of me actually going to the cage, I will, I will make a list of 10 to 15, 20 things. And, and some, some things are dating back to, to high school wrestling. Some things are dating back to college wrestling. Some things are dating back to the, the first year that I started fighting. And some things were as, as, um, as recent as two fights ago, but make a list of, you know, beating Kyler Sanderson at the at the senior night Mizzou my senior year you know like mm -hmm. majoring him like those things like nobody knows who that is and nobody knows might even not know what I'm talking about but I can close my eyes I can visualize where we were when it was who it was what the score was and that was a moment where I gave myself permission to be the best yeah I gave myself permission to not put limits on myself I gave myself permission to be all that God has called me to be because somebody has to be the best so why shouldn't it be me you know you talk about legacy you talk about being great um i hope that this episode 
fired you up to be the champion that you are. Remember that you are special, that you have special gifts inside of you. Each and every one of you watching has gifts inside of you that as Mike said, you gotta get out. And the way, the way you train, who you hang out with, what you're listening to, what you're reading, how you, how you sift through your thoughts and get after it every single day. That's the mentality it takes to be the best that you can be. See, championship belts are won day by day. Small successes over time, daily little deposits in the bank every day leads to great riches. These are the things that add up. All, we all want the belt, but are we willing to pay the price and sacrifice every single day? The blood, literally, sweat and tears that a Mike Chandler every single day works after, or that I work after, or that you work after. What is it that you're chasing? My hope today and this mind right maniac, a champion's mindset, a champion's mentality, is that I just remind you and that Mike Chandler reminds you from watching out training like a champion trains, that you have it inside of you. You're way stronger than you think. You're way stronger. And through adversity, you know that your burdens often become your biggest blessings and that you get after it today. Today's your day where you decide to get back up. You get knocked out, you, you, you brush it off, you come back, and you get after it. Whether it's one loss, two losses, or four losses, whatever it is, you decide today that you are a champion, and you use those words, I am a champion. I am a champion. I am a champion, over and over, or like Muhammad Ali said, I am the greatest. To me, when you do that, my friends, when you do that, then you will be the champion that you desire to be. Get your mind right, baby!